Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. And today, we are diving into week 2 of Future State, and this video is going to be covering Future State Dark Detective issue number 1. Now if you haven't been keeping up with Future State, I have a playlist set up for you guys. Go ahead and check it out in the description and at the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything Future State related. And this issue is going to pick us up with Bruce Wayne. Now everybody's been wondering, where's Bruce Wayne? What's he been up to? Why is he not the Batman? And so this is going to give us a lot of answers to exactly what happened to Batman. What happened to Bruce Wayne? And why is he not currently holding the mantle of Batman in Gotham City? Now the writer for this is Mariko Tamiki. And pencils and ink are Dan Mora. Which is really awesome to see. You know, he he's getting, Dan Mora is getting a lot of attention lately. And he's getting to cover a lot of awesome comics, which is really cool to see. And I'm really, really starting to become a big fan of his because I love his artwork. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. Now this issue picks us up in a, a more futuristic Gotham controlled by the Magistrate. But though it's more futuristic, it's not a, a better Gotham. If anything, it's in a police state and the people are, are in more trouble than ever before. And so as Gotham appears to be a funeral that no one is attending, in other news, Bruce Wayne, the son of Gotham, was ironically shot and killed last month in an alley. And this is where we see Peacekeeper number one. Now the peacekeepers are essentially breaking down the city into little cord off sections. And there's a peacekeeper for each one. Peacekeeper number one being kind of the leader of all the other peacekeepers. And we see Bruce Wayne running away from peacekeeper number one and him saying, we know who you are. And so the magistrate has pretty much figured out, you know, Bruce Wayne is the Batman. And that if they kill Bruce Wayne, then they can honestly say that they killed Batman without having to produce a body. And so now with Bruce Wayne being technically dead, he can't live under his same name without being caught by the magistrate. So we're seeing a Bruce Wayne that is essentially penniless, has a few names, uh, a few credits to his name to be able to buy a coffee and things of that nature. But for the most part, he's he's broke. And we pick up a month ago when he had gotten shot. And we see him at the back of a door, banging on it to get in, using the last of the Wayne Enterprise fortune to get the, the bullets dug out of his body, but also while maintaining some secrecy to his identity. Or at, at the very least, that he's getting patched up. And the next day on the news, Peacekeeper number one lets Gotham City know that they have rid Gotham of Batman. And as Bruce Wayne walks through the city, he sees a giant memorial on one of these screens dedicated to him and it's really just it's driving him crazy you know being a dead man being unable to really do anything at this point on top of a, a city with cutting edge technology all at the price of the magistrate but it's all at the price of control a new world order if you will and as bruce heads down an alleyway he sees an older gentleman getting beat up and he goes to intervene and he beats the crap out of these guys but this is when the Magistrate's drones show up. And so what else could Bruce Wayne do but fight his way out of a grave? Fight the forces that put him there. Shut down the Magistrate before it destroys Gotham. And do it as a ghost. The ghost of Batman. Because as he says, aren't there some ghosts who don't know that they're dead? And we see Bruce Wayne rip off his shirt and reveal a Batman suit. And at the same time, he takes a bullet to the leg. And so Batman is just having it rough. Like he, he's getting, gotten shot twice within a month time frame. But he's still gonna try. He's still gonna fight. Because this is still his Gotham. And while he has breath left in him, he's gonna live up to his name. He's gonna live up to the name of Batman. And that will be the end of this issue. Now, with some of these issues in Future State, we get a little bonus. And the bonus in this one is Grifter. Now, I'm not gonna give away all of Grifter's story, but Grifter's story is actually really awesome. It picks up in a bar, and nobody knows his name, you know? No one knows Cole Cash. 
is here trying to trying to win some extra money and that's when the gcpd show up and they go to arrest him but it's not something he wants to wants to indulge and so he tries to make his escape but as he goes outside he sees the magistrate surrounding him and he goes to make his run but they they capture him they throw him inside the van and he ends up in the van with luke fox and these two have a, a real deep argument. Now apparently Cole Cash did something to Lucius Fox. Something that, that causes a debt that Luke thinks Cole should be paying. And so as these two argue, they're really trying to devise a plan on how to get out of here. They get one of the guards to come back. And Cole Cash just takes this situation and goes from 0 to 100 real quick. And we see the vehicle flip over, but they're able to make their escape. And with that, they go back to his apartment. Luke Fox offers him $50,000 to get him out of the city. And of course, Cole's gonna, gonna take him up on this. And so he gets what guns he needs ready and puts on his mask and they head out. But as they're heading out of the city, they run into Vale. Not just Vale, but lackeys from the Black Mask Syndicate. And apparently Cole Cash has a debt with them that needs to be paid. But it's not something that he's willing to pay. And with that, he opens up with a barrage of, of gunshots and they make their way through town and they end up at the, the house or the home or the fortress of the Huntress. And that is where the little side issue will end. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this comic as a whole. Personally, I am I'm really loving it. You know, everybody was worried, you know, where's Bruce Wayne? Why isn't he Batman? Where did he go? Well, this is starting to give us that story. You know, with all this technology advancing with inside of Gotham City, it was only a matter of time before they tracked down who Batman was. You know, even having billions of dollars in a Fortune, Fortune 500 company, you can only hide yourself so much before they finally figure it out. Especially when it becomes more and more like a police state. You have cameras on every corner, you have drones flying around. Bruce Wayne literally would have been found out one way or another. And then seeing him get shot is really something else. Like we see we see him get shot twice in this. And it's pretty crazy. That means either the, the peacekeepers are that good or Bruce Wayne is really lacking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think of peacekeeper number one? Where do you think or what kind of training do you think this guy has to be able to hunt down and make Batman run? And what do you guys think of Grifter? I'm really excited to see that story unfold. That's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to see how he's going to get Luke Fox out of the city. Now, they're not giving us much idea in, in timelines, but we can we can fairly assume that Tim Fox maybe hasn't taken up the mantle of Batman just yet. And so, as it stands, the only Batman that is currently in Gotham would be Bruce Wayne. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And one last thing before we go, if you haven't had the opportunity yet... Go ahead and go check out our podcast. We have it offered up in iTunes, in Spotify. Go subscribe to it. Go download it. It's really awesome. We cover all of last week's issues of Future State. As well as King in Black, we talk about WandaVision. It's really a lot of fun. So if you're interested in getting a, a more in-depth, detailed-oriented talk about these comics, go ahead and go check that podcast out. We have a new episode every Friday where we talk about the weekly pools. We talk about comic book, cinema, everything coming out superhero related, Star Wars related, geek nation, geek culture. We got you covered. And as always, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until the next video.